Uh, as we mentioned uh, yesterday, Steve Jobs passed away at the age of 56 from pancreatic cancer. So we thought we would uh, put together a panel to talk a little bit about the legacy that he lives behind. So uh, we have Lindsay Smith, of course, you've seen many times here. Bradley Shend, our regular tech guru. And also uh, Tara Bell is with us as well, who works with uh, Bradley and the gang at Connected Life. And so let's talk um, first off about... Uh, what his impact was on technology. And Bradley, let's start with you. Yeah, I don't think there's anybody that has had a more profound impact uh, on technology in the last 100 years. I mean, you look at the Apple computer itself, the Apple II, the first commercially viable computer that had great success. You look at the iPod. You look at the iPhone. You even look at the Internet. He was fired from Apple and founded Next Computer, and he built it in a way that he wanted to build it. That later was acquired back to Apple. And little, a few people know, but Tim Berners-Lee, the inventor of the Internet, we claim, right. built the Internet on a next computer. So the Internet, again, he's touched wow, technology in That's so many ways. So we perhaps wouldn't have the Internet. We wouldn't have the personal computer. We wouldn't have the iPhone. We wouldn't have the iPad. Yeah. You know, in all these ways, we wouldn't. He touched us all. Tara, what do you think? Well, he, like Bradley said, he built the hardware and he also built the brains inside the computer, you know, the software. And then he touched the entertainment industry as well. Um, when he got fired from Apple, he started Pixar. Mm. He acquired it from Lucasfilms, a computer graphics division. Right. And then, you know, uh, came out with Toy Story. That was pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> 360 million worldwide. Wow. What do you think, Lindsay? I, again, he's touched us in so many ways, but I mean, people don't realize that he's he's been a visionary for um, not only the technology community, but for the community at large. It was his idea to actually start putting um, spacers on laptops so that we would have a place to rest our hands. The mm. mouse was actually one of the things that he invented for the Apple computer. So he was an inspiration on so many levels. Typeface. He was the one that in, came up with the idea of creating different fonts. So wow. I, I know it's just he he was the it. it very few um, leaders have this this ability to have both the vision and the execution. And he was the type of person that could come out with these creative, mind-blowing ideas, but then have the, the, the tenacity and the focus to build a team in order to make those visions become a reality. Now, Bradley and I have, have, have discussed this a lot, and uh, what I find interesting about him was he developed things iPads, iPhones. It's like Microsoft has developed the, you know, the, the Windows operating system. But for me, it's more interesting when someone develops all these things. And, and, and that's what it was about Apple was they came out with really neat things all the time. It was something, the next wave of what everyone wanted. How did he, how did he gauge what the public was going to, to try and take? I think on some level, and this, this goes out there a bit if you'll allow me, um, he was <laughs> – he was spiritual. Like he, he talked about um, going on a spiritual odyssey, and then he also talked about doing things from his gut. And he had that bravado. He had that master's sense of, of performance, and everybody knows he understood marketing. But he could design a product in such a way that he could forecast or know where it was going. He quoted Wayne Gretzky famously in a speech saying, you know, I'm, I'm going to mess it up a bit, going, I don't skate where it's going, I skate where the puck's going. Yeah. So he knew no, where we were headed. Yeah. yeah. We knew where we were headed. He knew exactly what technology was doing, how it was trending. In a vision, almost gut level, he could just go there. Yeah. Terry, you have an iPhone in front of you, so uh, just talk about just sort of the, the introduction of the iPhone and then onto the, the next products that he was able to come up with. Um, well, the iPhone is pretty much the coolest gadget of yeah. all time. <laughs> you know, it's everything. It has all of your music, your contacts, your telephone, yeah. games. I mean, it's just a next generation uh, gadget. Was that the thing that he did so well was take, uh, you know, six different devices and say, well, why not just have one and we'll make it? I think what he's most known for is how he is able to simplify the, the user interface. If you look at um, the other technology providers that are out there right now, the hardware providers that are creating operating systems for their gadgets, um, they're using this app. Uh, the apps, essentially, yeah. that has become the way of doing it because it simplifies the whole process. Steve Jobs was really good, or, 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 and again, it's not just him. It was he has a team of of great people behind him that recognize this. But looking at how people interact and engage with technology, and having that reflected in the operating systems that he built, it was all about being simple. When they announced the, I was